Hey what's up guys this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm gonna be showing you how to flash an, an overview of Imperium ROM version 16.1 it was it is currently developed by Slim80 and it is a Samsung based TouchWiz ROM this is based on latest Android uh, Samsung uh, Samsung base NK NK4 and uh, as always I usually recommend uh, I always, I always recommend making an Android backup before just to make sure if you run into some problems with the current ROM or simply you don't like it you can come back to your current ROM without losing any data or whatsoever. So how to install this ROM as usually if you don't have this recovery uh, you should get it. I have a video on how to flash it. It's a simple way, just uh, I'll put a link in the description, description down below. But uh, this time, so let's get into proper flashing. Uh, as uh, I always do, I do wipe my device clean and install to install a new ROM. So right now it is uh, wiping data and other stuff on your device. Um, as far as I read uh, uh, in the official thread, official thread, um, this is a very simple ROM, debloated. It has uh, uh, an S5 uh, pack, which I'm gonna be flashing after I the first booting, the first booting, uh, because I just want to show you a comparison between uh, how it looks after the proper flashing of the base uh, zip file and after you flash the S5 uh, custom um, pack. So right now it's format formatting system. Let me focus, okay. Uh, the screen is a little bit uh, bright, but uh, there's a problem. Okay, so it's almost done. And we're gonna get into flashing. Now get back, then back again. Then go to install zip. And I've stored my stored this ROM on, the, on my external SD card. So I'm gonna be flashing this from uh, my external SD card. And as you may see, uh, it says here Imperium version 16.1 so we're gonna go and click yes I think it benefits of Aroma installer so we're gonna customize our installation let's see we'll see a couple of seconds after it waits about one uh, one eight gig yes as you may see starting Aroma installer so it let me see okay Imperium ROM version 6 16.1 developer slim 80 device and date Play, press next to continue terms of use I agree of course please wait okay the change log the full change log you can uh, read it uh, yeah you can choose wipe data but we also did that did, did that before attention super wipe will delete all data files also files on the internal memory ah uh, Internal memory. Well, I guess it's the internal SD card, so I don't really, I don't really want to try this. Okay. So kernels, we have custom kernels to be flashed. It's your own personal choice. I do recommend KT kernel though, but uh, I will go for Imperium kernel because you know it's made by the same developer, so it should be optimized for this RAM. Do you want to clean old kernel setting? Hmm. Mm. No, not really. Do you want to apply XT4 tweak? Yes. Do you want to enable GPU rendering? Yes. Do you want to disable the fast dormancy? Um, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is fast dormancy, so I'll go for the default one. <laughs> Choose 3G tweaks that you want to apply. Start quick, fast. I guess everybody wants to go fast. Fast. Do you want to tweak the GPS? Yes. Of course. CSC choosing. So we're gonna go to, let's see if we have... <coughs> sorry. You have Romania here. Yes, Romania. So that's nice. Do you want to install S5 status bar quick panel and recent tab? No. Do you want the settings in S5 style? Yes, I would like to. 
choose the touch with launcher that you want to use S5 stock S4 node 3 I'll go for S5 do you want to apply fast touch with mode nope do you want to delete touch with data yeah why not Google now launcher or Xperia Z3 launch. We'll go for Xperia. Choose default lock screen and home screen wallpaper. Note 4 wallpaper, Nexus 5 wallpaper. We'll go for Nexus 5. Choose Android system app icon. S5. Choose the phone that you want to use. Samsung Note 4 font. Yeah. Do you want to install S5 theme? We have a pack, so I'll go for no this time. Choose the status bar mode. Well, there's a lot of customization to be done. It's wrong. Home button on status bar. Let me see. Lock button, status bar. Yeah, lock button, yeah. S5 music player, alternative. Oh my god. We have Viper for Android. Note 4. Jesus Christ, how many customizations? This is the most customizable customizable ROM I've been flashing. Delete. Nope, don't delete. Yeah. Yes, 5. Yes. Nope. S5 one. Yes. Jesus Christ. Nope. S5 dealer, yes. Do not deal oh my god, this is getting this is so hilarious. S5 browser. Chrome S5 with animation Greenify Yes Inverted, I like inverted place for How many customizations? AccuWeather, yeah Jesus Christ Finally, finally, so Oh, it was so hard. So if you if you were looking for a very customizable ROM, this is what you should flash for sure. <coughs> it took me two minutes to choose what what uh, what I want from ROM installer. So I'll be back to you guys after it finishes the booting. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is how the phone looks after the initial boot up. Uh, I'm gonna be clearing these apps and uh, show you the RAM. So it stays at 0 0.97. It is uh, decent for uh, this kind of RAM. Okay. So uh, first thing you'll notice is that in the top right corner you have uh, some kind of power power button. So it is very handful uh, if uh, you want to just turn uh, your device by pressing this button. It is very fast. You don't have to press this. Or if your device uh, has a, a, a more function on on this button so it doesn't work you should uh, it should help you to turn off your your device so this is an important uh, important feature for those who have problems with the power button so this is the S5 uh, touch with launcher we also have the Xperia home so we're gonna open this just to show you how it looks some kind of lag yeah but it now right now it is uh, moving very smooth yes as you may see from screen to screen let's dive into settings we have the S5 uh, settings with the Imperium settings control 
So exposed menu, we have Adaway, faster GPS, phone info, and so on. Android system info. We also have Imprim Auto updates with uh, with all the things uh, and mods you'll need to you would like to find for for this uh, ROM. So this is how the phone looks. Uh, and believe me, as you may see, it is moving blazing fast. No problems at all. Yes, calculator. As you may see, no problems. Animations are pretty smooth because GP rendering is uh, it's enabled. Okay, right now we're gonna get uh, into recovery and flash uh, the S5 pack. And uh, how we do that? You can do it by holding by holding the power button, but you can also do it by holding this. Sorry. What the fuck? Yes, yes. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get by going like this. Yeah, recovery and re rebooting into recovery. So as you may see, it has the S5 uh, boot not boot animation, shutdown animation. Right now we're booting into recovery. You know the flash the S5 uh, the S5 pack. And we're gonna we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a look at uh, how it looks after we flash this package. Sorry, I have my. Yeah. Okay, so we're back into recovery. Focus. Install zip. Choose zip from SD card one. And then go and flash the S5 Ultra Pack version 3.4 for Imperium ROM. Again, a ROM installer. Nice. No, that's not a great sign. Okay, so choose the status bar mode. Home button or status bar, lock button. Home and lock button. Let's try this, both. With the quick connect, yes. Call rec, yes. Nope. 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 Yes. 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 What? Yes. 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 Okay, finally we have more f much faster way of customizing the, your device in this package. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna take a hell of a lot. I mean, no, it's not gonna take as much as the installation of the base ROM did. So, so I guess I'm gonna get no, no, not really. I'm gonna show you also the boot the boot animation after this installing. Oh come on, eighty percent. Okay guys, so this is how the phone looks after Okay, let me dim the screen. <clears throat> after I flashed the S5 package, uh one thing I should mention before proceeding to proceeding to the next stage is that you have to flash the S5 pack uh immediately after you flash the base ROM. Uh, otherwise, I got in a, into a boot loop and yeah, that's some kind of nasty Okay, so this is how it looks. Let me deem it even more. Uh, yes, I think like this. Yes, this is perfect. So this is how it looks. Uh, I heard that uh, my magazine heard that uh, this is a very fast touch with launcher. Yes, it feels uh, like fast and bodily smooth one. Uh, we have the same S5 settings. Uh, actually, <coughs> this is the S4. <coughs> Sorry. S4 style settings with the S5 theme on it. As you may see, looks and behaves really, really well. Okay, lock screen. Let's dive into lock screen and see what unlock effects do we have. We have abstract tiles from Node 4. So let's see how they look. Yes, they look, they look beautiful. If you ask me, yes, beautiful. We have pooping colors 
or popping. As the S5 default one, stone skipping. Also looks uh, really well. Um, I'm gonna stick to this one because I like it very, very much. <coughs> yeah. So overall, uh, let's check the RAM after, after we flash this, and uh, I'm not so surprised th that this is using uh, about 300. Uh, uh, megabytes more because uh, this is kind of an S5 port and uh, a lot of apps aren't uh, optimized for S4 uh, we're gonna be checking the ultra power saving mode not this one yes this one ultra power saving mode as you may see it's working <coughs> it's about six six days the battery will last for six days in this uh, mode approximately six days because this isn't calibrated for uh, S4's battery is calibrated for S5's one which is a big, way bigger one and as you may see phone phone the grayish look you can disable this by going here okay Wi-Fi was deactivated as you may see so things are working perfectly Okay, what else should be should be said? We have uh, S5 apps like Messenger app, uh, Internet video, S Planner, the calendar, phone, my files voice recorder. Yeah, as you may see, we have S Voice. Nobody uses this. We have 3 minute battery settings, S Twix, Ultra Power Saving Mode Manager, and <coughs> yeah, so on. So, as you may see, it's a very, very smooth run. Thanks for watching, and if you like, if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me a lot. And uh, you'll always, always be updated with latest Android news. We're patiently waiting for the lollipop release on the Samsung Galaxy S4 it was released in Russia for the international variants the i9000 uh, and uh, yeah so nice nice really nice uh, unlocking effect so again please uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video Wicked Android is out bye bye